What's going on, explorers? Brandon abandoned, your man, 6'4", spoiled with Urbex Stickland. I got an absolutely beautiful house for you guys today. It's like a farmhouse, but it's a Tudor style farmhouse. Kind of, I wouldn't say mini mansion-ish. It, it gives off that look, but the inside is not that, that big. It's absolutely beautiful. The property that it's on is amazing. It's been abandoned for a very long time now. Unfortunately, the land's up for, for sale. The house itself isn't. So, gives away that it's probably gonna be getting demolished at some point. I don't know why, it's so beautiful looking. This house should definitely be saved. You guys are gonna love it. I'm excited to show you. Let's jump right in there. Let's get exploring. This is the front of this absolutely gorgeous house. And look at that. Wow. I think it's beautiful. I don't see anybody that wouldn't want to call that home. And here we got a boat. I've seen some pictures of the place and I never seen a boat in the pictures. And it's pretty close to the house, so you'd think you would. So maybe I lucked out. Maybe somebody even dumped this boat here. They had nowhere else to put it. I'm gonna check around on some of the extra other videos and see just what's going on. If this boat's new or if this boat's been here for a while. Again, we got the Christmas lights up. Always seems to be Christmas lights. Is that not breathtaking? And check that out. Wow. Speechless. How this could be given up. I would never let this house go. No way. All right, everybody. So strangely enough, this seems like the front door from the outside of the house, but it's not very, it's not very grand. It's not very beautiful. It's still nice. The house itself is beautiful, but it just seems strange to me. We got that beautiful light. Some nice details. But again, you walk into your house and then you just come into this. Beautiful, beautiful house. Now I hear that noise beeping. Not totally sure what that is. I'm hoping a fire alarm. The floor here is cracking real good. Very nice light fixture. You would have probably had your dinner table sitting there. See what I mean? Part of the shelves on the floor. I don't know if it was like that before. Beautiful ceiling. It wouldn't appear there's much left behind. But we'll still try to make this last as long as we can. A lot of cobwebs all through this whole little area here, so I'm gonna not walk too far. We got a pool in the backyard. I'm gonna check that out as we're leaving. Cup 
cupboards are empty. It's an awesome staircase. We've already walked around from that side. Nice high ceilings. Beautiful fireplace. Nice little spot to stack some wood. Interesting light fixtures. They've got like a fabric look, they're almost like they've melted. This is the garage. Not much happening in here. This house almost has a strange smell. Really sure how to explain it. A little bathroom, a little shower. That's kind of weird because it's it's on your main floor, right out of your living room. You wouldn't expect there to be a shower there. There's the pool. Little pump house. And then a little garage type building. Not sure what's going on there, but we'll take a peek. And then there's no more halls. So that's gonna be it. It's gonna be it for the beautiful main floor. This is the back of where the fireplace and everything is over there. And your stairs to your downstairs and your upstairs. We're gonna go upstairs first, you know how we do it. Let's do one more little peek through. Very, very cool. I do like this fireplace, so. Some very cool stairs. Although, this chunk of the ceiling right here is too low for me. I have to actually duck. Well, let's go this way. Looks like it could be the smaller way. Oh, that was wrong. As you can see. We got a boat outside. Very cool curved hallways here. I like that. I'll show you another angle here. Very cool. Hello. It's cold in this room with that door open. It is that time of the year. There's the washroom. Let's get into the middle of the room here. It's huge. It's beautiful. Goes out to a nice deck here that leads down to your pool. Very cool. Let's check out this awesome bathroom. That's sweet. Just the different wood levels. Got some cool lights. Got a big old mirror. Medicine cabinet with nothing in it but a mosquito. You can tell how everything's a little dated. It's 
It's all very retro. All the dead bugs. That's a nice tub. But again, a tiny shower. I prefer a bigger shower, I guess. Leave the water's off. I've been assuming the power's off. That old, old fan. The heater coil. It's very cool. I just didn't want to show the window there, the outside. It smells nice up here. Just smells like, like a cottage or a house nobody's been in in a long time. Doesn't have a bad smell. I like that brick. Finished off with a nice chunk here. Beautiful. Almost like a slate. There's the fire alarm going off. I'm sure that's what it is. Let's just do that for a second. I'll pop it back in, but I want to see if that's what's making the noise because sometimes it was just beeping once, sometimes it was beeping a lot. It's so obviously the it battery was dying. I was walked into a huge cobweb coming into this corner. Beautiful little deck. A little small room. I like a nice wood. That's a weird plastic piece behind there. I've never seen that before. Does it stop fingerprints from getting on the wall, I guess? Nice. A little bit of a gap there. They should have finished it. A piece going across. You see, this almost feels like a cottage. It's just a real old, beautiful farmhouse. That's real nice. And there's a shower in here. This one's a little bit bigger. This is a nice room. Different style of wallpaper. Somebody took the carpet. Just an empty little area. A little storage space. Big old window. There's no screen. Check out that cool pool. Looks like it got real deep too. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Very nice upstairs. Still curious to how big, just how big the basement's gonna be. Hopefully really cool. Just in case it was too, too short of a video or so, I want to give you guys one more little walkthrough. And now we head down to the basement. So right off the bat, this basement's starting off pretty awesome. I just love the different carpets. Some carpet on the wall. Cool angle switches. Again, a ceiling that's too low for my head there. This guy must have liked his cards. 
A very cool basement. Very cool basement. Uh oh. Ceiling's starting to come down pretty good. Don't like that. Very cool. <laughs> like stucco looking tiles. Almost like a Spanish design. Pan through that mess one more time. Look, it's flooded down here. You can tell as bad as the water line is there. And of course, because the pool table's completely covered with mold. That's a cool little picture. Painted on the wall. They flattened it out. Look at the cobwebs in that pocket. Very cool. A little bar. Or sorry, a little radio. Stereo. Just somebody took out the record player. Is the middle open? Never mind. There she is. Beauty. It's a Phillips. Loudness, balance, bass, treble, tuning. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, this little crawl space looking area. Oh. Nice little wine cellar. What a crazy, uh, Crazy centipede over there. Those ones are nuts. I've seen them take on like four or five spiders at once in videos. And look at that spider I just walked under. Nice. Oof. And in here. Oh, my backpack. It's not much going on at all. And it's tiny, I have to duck. I like how the doors look like the walls though. That's very cool. What an awesome basement. I'd be hanging out down here. Probably have dart set up. You'd have to have a TV somewhere, I guess. A radio, which we have. Very cool. Very, very cool. Take one more look here. Awesome. Just for fun. No, the side doesn't open. So the basement wasn't as big as I was thinking it was gonna be, but it's still very, very cool. Let's check out a little bit of the property. So we're gonna make our way out the way we got in. There's a little metal latch on the front door, but I don't normally try the front doors. It's normally not that many of the ones that are open. I tend to make my way right to the back. Cobwebs on there. Oof. I'm not gonna need that light. Beautiful piece of property, look at this. Just gorgeous. Surrounded all the way with trees. Hear the birds. The creatures, nature. A nice little bench. It's 
been a while it's been a it's been abandoned if there's that much going on inside there I know things can grow fast over the years but over this like the one year but just the cracks and the way it's moved and the pole rigged up for some reason There's a view of the house. Absolutely gorgeous. The pool's fenced in properly, how it should be. This little hut's tiny. Again, just a little pump house we were assuming. There it is. A little beehive. Started, wasn't finished, and it looks abandoned as well. Check out the Abandoned beehive. There's the pool one more time. As we walk in by. Beautiful property. It looks even nicer right now with all the colorful leaves down. More trees. More beautiful property. Yep, just a garage. A nice little kitchen and that's like a chopping block top that should be in the kitchen that's cool those are really nice old school looking Cool. Never really even noticed this. It's a little wood burning type stove. It opens a little bit different. Nothing inside, it's pretty clean. But it would definitely keep this garage warm, without a doubt. And here, we've got Elaine, Awesome, Audrey, a whole bunch of different names. They snuck in here while dad wasn't in here and they covered up his chalkboard. That's what makes life awesome right there. Those type of moments, these type of memories. Very, very awesome. What did you guys think of this house? I'm telling you, like, this is... It's almost sad knowing that it's going to be demolished soon. I don't like that at all. But I love this house. It was amazing. I'm glad I made it here before the decay got too much worse. It's almost winter time, so the basement's going to be getting flooded again. If it even lasts that long. It probably will. It's too late in the season. I don't see houses really getting demolished anymore. Not where this house is anyway, where this location is. But thank you all for the support, for the love, all this time, for this whole journey. You're making it so much fun. I absolutely love it. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments. You guys are the best. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. Oh,